Well set up. This is well set up. It's a Father's Day tea party. Oh, pinky up. Pinky up. There we go. And pink. Oh, very nice. Most days when I'm on my way home from work, I just drive by this kind of thing and just do 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 on the way home. And this time I was like, okay, please. I gotta, I gotta just, I gotta show you what's going on here. It's Father's Day. I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about how I brainwash my kids. Spoiler alert, stay to the end because this really isn't about kids at all. Is open on the journey somewhere? Yes. Yeah, I want to go open Okay. Oh, anywhere. Anywhere. One ill-planned night of journey, and now the kids are asking for it every time we drive. I'm not even kidding, this is the third trip out today. I never shoot sunsets, this is the second time in two days. Does that make me a hippie? So I don't really make a secret too much about this, but my wife and I, we have you know, pretty well-defined values that we hold. We impart those to our kids. And one time somebody was like, oh, you're just brainwashing your kids. And I was like, yeah, because that's kind of the job of a freaking parent. They brainwash their kids. Whether they actually try to or not, that's just kind of what happens. We're teaching them right from wrong, how to live, how to work, bad or good, it's what we do. What are you doing? <laughs> On you. Why are you smiling on me while I'm videotaping? Yep. Okay, get ready. We have to leave in 20 minutes. Red Rena's ballet. That's a nice costume gift, right? See my daughter in a ballet? <laughs> the fact is, we're all freaking brainwashed. We're brainwashed. When we're born, we don't know much. Our parents teach us or they set an example, good or bad for us, and we kind of do what they do and learn from them and the people around us. The whole time our brain just getting stuff in there, getting stuff in there. That's a fact. It's nothing we can do about that. What if, as adults with kids, but with ourselves too, we decide at some point to say, okay, here's what I got brainwashed with. What do I want to keep? What do I want to dump? What stuff did I absorb as a kid that works for me now? And then what's the stuff that just freaking doesn't work for me now? And just go from there. As a parent, that's gonna be the point that you say, okay, well now this is what I wanna teach my kids. As an adult, for yourself, it's also gonna be what you decide to wash your brain with now. To say, I don't want that stuff anymore. That's not who I am. Now I wanna wash my brain with stuff that I choose. Some of it may be the stuff that you got brainwashed with as a kid. Maybe you go, yeah, that stuff works. Yeah, I kind of, okay, fine. Good point. Good point, mom and dad and world when I was seven. Other stuff, you, you go, what? That's not at all what I stand for. Don't want to pass that around. Don't want to live that way at all. Going to just kind of clean my brain off a little bit in that area and stick some new stuff in there that actually is something that I want to stand for. This is like my, this is my music studio. I don't do a lot of, I used to do the podcast down here, but I don't anymore because it's too far away. It's like a hundred feet away. I just, whew, I get runner's high just coming down here. I have this thing I want to show you guys that I've had literally since 1990, 1998, 1999. I've had this thing since 19, it's totally ridiculous, but I want to kind of show you. I should give a little uh, credit to Raymond Richards, the guy who played guitar in my band for a while. He made it and it's freaking cool and I just can't get rid of it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna show you, these are like band matches that we had. Here, I'll show you. Is that cool? We had matches. I have like 10 left. That's That'll be that for that. <laughs> it's my band logo that he painted on a TV screen and then it just shows through that and we would have it on stage now and then. It's gonna take up room in my garage for the next 82 years. Thanks, Raymond. You were a freaking stage mom today. <laughs> I know. What happened to us? I was backstage manager. I was not a stage mom. Oh, you were. <laughs> stage <laughs> mom is a very different thing. That was important. Wow, and now you're making me an espresso? There is a lot good about you in this moment. I'm very appreciative. <laughs> I have a pet peeve. 
My pet peeve is when somebody says about something they don't like in themselves, they'll go, it's just, yeah, it's just who I am. It's just, you know, I've always been that way. I hate that. If you find yourself saying that about yourself, oh, it's just something I do, it's just who I am, it's just what I've always done, wash your freaking brain, decide what you actually want to do and want to be, and then put that where the other stuff got wiped off. Okay, now I just, I gotta go get my espresso. I'm sorry, you guys, till next week. By the way, I may do some midweeky ones. Ooh.